Hi, this is David Biocchi speaking and here we are with my weekly intermarket analysis. Let's start with a euro dollar as usual and let's uh, say that uh, we are in a very interesting moment for this currency pair. Uh, let's start from the uh, very beginning because we have today, let's say, the uh, fact that we are very close to this downtrend line that is uh, the story of the um, uh, of these currencies per since the beginning of the year. So 1.02 more or less the price that was reached this morning uh, is uh, uh, it means the, the, the touch of this line. So we will have a very stronger euro in case of violation of this level because it will be uh, a recovery above that uh, kind of congestion that we can clearly see here but also uh, a little bit later the potential test of this area around 1.037 that uh, is representing the most relevant resistance that we have on this chart so let's say that in case of violation of this uh, downtrend line and both this area around 1.02 we will soon see the price probably testing 1.037 Otherwise, we will see probably the market coming back and then around the parity and at 0.99, that in my opinion is the strongest support that we can clearly see here. So this is for what concerning the euro dollar that is really uh, relevant and interesting. But let's switch a little bit after to see what is happening on the gold and what is happening on the uh, crude oil, so the commodities. For what concerning the gold, we are around the same price of $1,680 that uh, uh, worked a lot as a support in the recent years. So this is the support after the COVID situation and every time the market reached this level was able to uh, rebound. What is happening uh, recently is that the market was unable to test again $1,680. The test was at around $1,695 and later there was a reaction. Right now we are around 1,730 and the market seems to move back. What are the next pair, the next step, the next resistances? Well, 1,765 for sure will work as uh, 1,815. It's uh, uh, something that we can consider it as a mid-term target. So let's see what is going to happen and uh, be careful because in case of violation of this very strong support of 1,000. 680 uh, the price can fall down sharply and and fast so uh, be careful about it uh, let's switch from uh, uh, the crude oil uh, from the gold to the crude oil so let's see what is happening on the crude oil that was able uh, in the last week to leave the very important support that is visible around 85 dollars and later went down to touch a price that is very close to the 80 uh, dollars per barrel then the market reacting and now we are back around that level so let's see if the price of the crude oil will be able to re-enter in the previous sideway so we will see the market moving in between 85 87 86 to 95 that is the average trend and later maybe even above that price or if this is simply a pullback and we will soon see the market coming down again and maybe in that case, uh, the uh, let's say the next step will be for sure this level around $80 as a support and then necessarily uh, another one below that is around $75 per barrel. So let's see. I think that we will see something interesting in the next days and in the incoming weeks. So let's switch immediately after to the situation about the stock indices and let's start with the European Eurostock 50. The Eurostock 50 was really strong in the last days. What we have seen especially uh, is a reaction after uh, a price that was reached that was very close to the price of 3,400 that worked recently as a very strong support. So the market reacted around 3,450 and then was able to reach the present price uh, very close to the price of 3,000 600 that means that variation was very strong and a very similar situation that we have seen here on the Eurostock 50 we have seen in the market uh, also on the German and the Italian index too so 
The situation is uh, uh, really uh, interesting because the stocks are growing and they are still growing today. What about the U.S. indices? Let's start with the uh, let's start with the um, S&P 500 and the S&P 500 after the recovery that started from the touch of the price of 3,900 really increased a lot the price. So what we have seen is a clear figure that we can call the three white soldiers and that is telling us that there was a very strong reaction from a very important support area. So this price is 3,900. The reaction came here and next step will be probably the price of 4,200 and uh, later that is, uh, in my opinion, the sky that we have right now is 4,300. Will it be potentially rich? Well, for sure, what we have seen uh, during the last days are technicalities based on the fact that the market had right very short to these prices. And so there was a, a reaction, especially because some, let's say, uh, uh, some activities, uh, some activities that uh, uh, saw this uh, uh, short sellers, let's say, recovering their position. So short recovery was the main actor, the main uh, push that the market received. Uh, and that's why the market uh, grow up a lot. But tomorrow we will have the uh, inflation data. We will see the CPI. And so we will know if the market has, possi has possibilities even to move uh, more up because uh, uh, some optimistic uh, uh, things can come from the data. So let's see what is going to happen in the incoming market session. Very similar is the situation that we have on the Nasdaq itself. Uh, the Nasdaq reacted and even here we have uh, obviously some very interesting, uh, uh, let's say, target, potential target. And the final one will be this one that uh, the market could reach in case of continuation. For sure, we have um, at the end of this week on Friday, we will have the uh, three witches day. So we will have the uh, uh, every three months uh, expiry days for futures and options. So this is a very important day for the market. We are four days very important like that in the market. So let's see what is going to happen. Frequently, when we arrive at the three witches day, the market can change the direction or continue and accelerate a trend. So let's see what is going to happen. I expect this Friday to be relevant. And then after that, we can go and see what Mr. Powell will tell us next Wednesday. And that will be another tricky point in the market. Thank you very much for being here with me today. See you soon. Bye-bye.